Dear Madam Congress, during the last 27 years of EPRDF's leadership in Ethiopia under Mala Zenawi, not a year, not a year passed without a protest against the EPRDF here in Ethiopia and in every state in America. Every single month there has been a protest against Mala Zenawi's dictatorship. But America never gave any attention to any of the protests happening during those times. More than 20,000 people were blacklisted not to ever return to their country just because they protested against politics. Thousands of people were killed, tortured, or disappeared for standing against TP TPLF's separatism ideology. To your surprise, my friends, I can be corrected on this, but I have never heard the APRDF leaders mention the name Ethiopia during their 27 years of leading the country. Never in history, never in the 27 years, be it Mala Zenawi, be it Haile Mariam, be it the other leaders, never mentioned in the media the name Ethiopia. Simply put, TPLF can be registered on the Guinness Book of Records for being the only government in the world who are able to hypnotize an entire country for 27 years to its disaster. After 27 years, Ethiopians couldn't take it anymore, and demonstrations of protests erupted in every region all over Ethiopia, Gondor, Oromia, every state. After 27 years, Ethiopians couldn't take it anymore, and demonstrations of protests erupted in every region all over Ethiopia. The TPLF killed as many as they could, but could not stop the demonstrations and could not threaten the angry used by their killings. The TPLF was forced to leave power after 27 years of looting the country to its core. And the current Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed came to power with a promise to bring the country together and also a promise to make peace with Eritrea. This was how he was accepted by the whole nation.